Alright, today I'm going to show you how to set up Ventrilo, if you don't already know how, but this is for people that want to know some extra tips and tricks. So, first off, obviously I have my username here. Um, you can just click on the arrow here, make a new user. So, let's just name this new. And the phonetic, basically, instead of using whatever your name is, when people hear you coming in the server, they won't hear that. They'll hear whatever you type in here. So we can just type in like new law. And then you can listen to it. And it'll obviously be, you know, lame ass Microsoft Sam. So, okay, server. This you're going to have to get from whoever's hosting your server. So you're going to have to ask them for the vent Ventrilo info. So the name doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. So I can just name it. Okay, the host name or IP is going to be either like numbers, you know, or it could be some people use host, so it could be like xservers.pwnagegaming.com. And then the port is it's usually not going to be the default. So you're going to have to figure out the port too. So once you get that, we'll go to my original one, then it'll say servers available. This obviously this is uh this is the newest Ventrilo too. It's kind of some of the features kind of piss me off, but anyway. So you can click connect. And these guys are all AFK but okay, and we can go into setup. Alright, this is where you can enable this is where you can set your hotkeys or do um instead of having push to talk you can have it detect your voice. I really don't recommend that because it gets annoying when people are trying to talk and your mic goes off from sound. So you're going to want to use push to talk hotkey, make sure that's checked. And then all you got to do in here is click and then press whatever button you want to use. I use left alt, so we'll do that. And you're going to want to make sure you got whatever you're using as a mic selected here. Like I have a USB headset, so make sure you have that in the output and the input. If you want to maybe have your sound come out of your speakers and then talk through your headset, you could set the output device to whatever your sound card is. So mine's Realtek, so, but yeah. Okay, there's different tabs, events. This basically just lets you change what the sounds are when people do certain things, and you can test it. Okay, binds, we can skip over that. Speech, we can skip over that. Network, okay. I usually have this on, so when I minimize it, it goes down to my system tray on the taskbar. Um, this stuff is just more advanced stuff. This, if you're, if you're getting some lag in Ventrilo, you can set this to high, and then it'll warn you. But basically, it lets you Ventrilo use a little bit more processor speed, so doesn't lag as bad so okay here if we check this box we can change the colors and I had it I can, we'll change it to pink cuz yeah oh wait that's the foreground okay so foreground can be whatever color and the background can be whatever color you just gotta make sure you have override on and then you can change whatever color so go on here and click OK and there you go, you got different colors. I've always wanted to find if there was like a, like skins or something, I could never find them. Okay, new thing in Ventrilo 3.01 is uh, overlay. Basically, when you enable it, and you go in a 3D application, such as a game, obviously, um, it'll pull up basically kind of like a mini Ventrilo without the graphics, just like text, and it'll say who's talking and it'll tell you when you're talking so it's good if you don't know who's in your vent but if you're in there enough and you know people's names by their voice then you don't have to worry about it okay this basically if you uncheck this it would um use ventrilo default visual styles this way it uses xp theme which is minus media center so okay this if you have a logitech g15 which i do then you can enable that and basically G15s have a little LCD panel and it will do the same thing as overlay so we can do that.